Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Azure Synapse dedicated SQL pools to make your analytics so much faster in just a few clicks. Stay tuned. find this for the very first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date from all the videos from both Adam and this guy. Okay, Azure Synapse dedicated SQL pools. They have some really interesting capabilities in them. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about how you can make your analytics faster in just a few clicks. And so let's say you're working with some analytics tool like Excel. Yeah, people use Excel as an analytics tool. Or in my case, I'll be working with Power BI. But regardless of what the tool is and you're direct querying the source, you're going directly to the source, you're not caching data up. And you know that the response time is just a little bit slower and then you do a little dig in and you go oh it's because we have so much more data we started out with just a couple hundred thousand rows now we have hundreds of millions of rows and now everything is slowing down how do you speed it up well you could change the data model that is back ending your analytics tool or you can call the db up and say hey we need to change the schema the dba is probably gonna go ain't gonna happen or you can do some optimizations. And this may be something that your database administrator may be okay with. And in the case of Azure Synapse dedicated pools, you can create materialized views. And these materialized views can speed things up with just a few clicks, all right? So how do you do it, Patrick? Well, you guys know what I like to do. Instead of all this talking, let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. Because I'm gonna take you through this process of how I would do this optimization. Let's clear the cache. Now, you shouldn't run this on your production servers or any server that people are actively accessing. But I'm gonna go ahead and clear the cache here. And everyone knows I'm using my favorite analytics tool, Power BI. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to View, I'm gonna turn on Performance Analyzer, and I'm gonna start recording. And then I'm gonna switch over to a page that has some visuals on it. We'll expand, and you'll see that the direct query, which is a query that's being sent back to Synapse, so we'll force seconds to run. Are you thinking, Patrick, how do we speed this up? Well, there's a nice capability built inside of Synapse, dedicated pools. It's a query that you can run called explain with recommendations. So what you do is you copy that query from your analytics tool, and then you would issue this query here, explain with recommendations, and you provide your query as an input to it. Let's go ahead and run this. Let me show you what will happen. And it produces this XML. So I'm using Azure Data Studio, and inside of Azure Data Studio, I can say, save this as XML. It's going to go ahead and say, save it and then it opens it up for me and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to format this so it formats this for me and you can see there's lots of stuff here but what you'll see is that it recommends some materialized view candidates for me and so you should copy those queries out once you copy those queries out you run this and it'll show you if any materialized views exist in your dedicated pool now patrick what are these materialized views you're talking about there's two types of views in synapse dedicated pool there's the standard view and there's the material view. Every time someone uses the standard view, it computes the data, it computes everything in that standard view. With a materialized view, it pre-computes, it stores, and it maintains everything for you in a dedicated SQL pool, just like a table. Now, there's lots of benefits to these materialized views, and I'm going to post the doc in the description below, and you can go read more about all the stuff I'm talking about. But the three things I want to talk about is, number one, low maintenance. Number two, it reduces the execution time of very complex queries. Number three, and this is the big one for me, the query optimizer can use these materialized views to improve query execution plans. So instead of some big complex query, wait, 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 wait. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So I would take this query that I ran with explain with recommendations. I would like to do it in Azure Data Studio, but it doesn't produce the execution plans yet for Synapse, but that's okay. But I'll head over to Management Studio and I'll run the estimated execution plan. So you can click this little icon here, or you can just press control. L. And if you look at this execution plan right now, if you go all the way to the end, you'll see that it's bringing in tons of data. You can see how big this pipe is, but then you can see most of the cost in this execution plan is spent with this shuffle. Shuffle is huge. It's data movement. And whenever we're querying Synapse dedicated pools, we want to minimize the data movement. So watch this. So I'm going to head back over to Azure Data Studio. I have the views that I need to create. And I would run this query right here to see what the views are and go compare the materialized views that it's recommending to the existing materialized views because maybe I could do some consolidation of views instead of creating so many materialized views. But the documentation will talk you through all these things. So I'm going to create both of the materialized views that it suggested. So I'm going to run those materialized views, get them created. To be fair, before I go and back to Power BI and run this test again, I'm going to clear out the buffer. Again, don't do this on your production systems. So what I'm going to do now before I head over to Power BI, let's take a look at this estimated execution plan. 
So we'll run this. Whew, look at that. So much different. If you remember the other one, you know, the pipe was so much bigger. It was moving several times more data. And you can see that that big shuffle is missing. Yeah, I need to create some stats, but that's okay. So now let's go see what happened to Power BI. We're going to do the exact same thing. View performance analyzer. Start recording. And then we're going to switch to this page. And boom. Remember, the other one, the direct query was four seconds. On this one, the direct query is less than a second. All I did was run the explain with recommendations, pass in the query, and then I created the materialized view. And I'm like, two clicks. And now I'm getting super fast performance of my analytics tool. All right. What do you guys think? You ain't questions, you ain't comments. Have you used these materialized views before? I love to know. Let's continue the conversation where in the comments below. If it's your first time visiting the guy in the cube channel, hit that subscribe button. You like my video, give me a big thumbs up as always from Adam and myself. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.